Hey guys, it's Monday, so another episode of City Skylines 2 Feature Highlights Episode 10 Game Progression. Let's what's up. City building is a journey led by your creativity and ambition. I love the trees, I keep so saying the decisions it. It beautiful. You make along the way it's just like the trees in the road. It looks amazing. To help you build a city that's true to you. Oh, it's beautiful. City Skylines 2 puts 20 milestones packed with rewards Good. directly in your path. Good. When you the unlock a milestone, you're rewarded expansion permits. Expansion permits allow you to quickly add new map tiles to your city. Yeah. But this isn't just about real estate. Use expansion permits to release tiles with the specific attributes you need to see yeah. your plans through. Just like in the first game, Milestones more. also reward you with development points. You need development points to add city services, the bedrock of a functioning metropolis. But just adding them isn't enough. The needs of citizens really? will change as the city expands, so you'll Are need you to keep developing city no services way. to keep pace. Your development points oh, make amazing. it happen. I love it. The city services it. you choose to add, how you develop them, and just how advanced the you make them trees, all make a big impact on the character of your city. Airport? This is how it works. Each city service has a development tree. Yeah. The nodes on the development tree are Perfect. more and more advanced buildings that level it up the city more. service in a specific way. Large sports bars, As you go. unlock these nodes, that city service becomes more sophisticated and specialized. You can upgrade when you them. first add a city service, you're at the base of the development oh, tree. The so train. you get the okay. basics. Like when you Space add the city center. service public transportation, you get buses and taxis. Space exploration? Basic stuff. Spend development points to unlock nodes further along the development yeah, tree. Sense. I love it. In this Perfect. case, you might invest in trains to move okay, so more people more efficiently. Unlock them. Yeah. Or you might go in a totally new direction by taking to the skies. It's all up to you. I love it, man. Remember, the further you go along a development the tree, the, the more the development points you'll need to cough up. And they don't exactly okay, rain from the sky. And, uh, you might not add center. a city service at all. Or you might not develop it very much. Others, you'll take all the way. Water is very basic. Once you add a city service Large and unlock nodes collider? on its development tree using okay. development points, it's time to open your wallet to actually pay for the construction of city service mm -hmm. buildings, building extensions, and yep. operational upgrades. I love it. That's you so need cool. cash. Don't worry. You can cover it with the monetary rewards you get when you unlock each milestone. Yep. By now, you're probably like asking, how do I unlock milestones? It's all about expansion points or XP. You'll rack up XP passively and actively. Passive oh. XP are awarded up to 16 Season times during each in-game day. Nice. They're awarded as your city's population, population and okay. the happiness level oh, of that so population cool. so it's more increases. Than just population. It's actually that's why smooth running happy. cities that foster the well-being of citizens make steady progress toward the next milestone. Active XP are doled out right when you make bold so investments actually, like, in your down. city. Watch them rack up when you plop a signature building or invest in core infrastructure like the city's road network. Those two XP, one XP, in City cool. Skylines 2, milestone rewards empower you to unleash your creativity and ambition on the path to building a city that only you can. Nice. This is one of like my favorite um, feature highlights I sort of got. I just love the system itself. I love when game gives you like something to look forward to upgrades and you know skill trees and whatnot especially in a game like like a simulation game right doesn't make any sense but i see how it could work right i really hope for the expansions they just add more nodes and like larger skill trees just so you can pro progress and unlock new stuff i think it'll be very cool but just so far man just the fact you can unlock stuff and it's it's so you know in the like in the previous game you did it by um by you know increasing your population and you know increasing your territory it lets you get like new upgrades now you can actually get to choose what you want so if you want like specialize i don't know in like uh i don't know, like leisure then you can just go put, put all your points in leisure right if you wish to do so whatever your, your city is lacking right so i absolutely love this kind of stuff and it feels very uh, very natural it looks very cool you can you know you get points from like people just being happy so you have like another reason to make people happy it's not all about like you know population going up and down and i have like a lot of population so your city goes up and are you losing population your city goes down it seems to be just positives i am seeing negatives like you're not getting minus xp for like people being unhappy maybe there is but it looks really cool i'm really really happy to see this and i'm sure it's gonna be a lot more fun i'm sure it's gonna like you know you're gonna unlock more most of the stuff like very fast if you're building like a long city 
and you're spending like months in the sea, you're gonna unlock this stuff like in the first couple of days, that's fine. But I just hope, you know, they add more to this stuff. I hope they make it like longer, bigger, bigger skill, bigger skill trees and, you know, more rewards and stuff. But I love this. Thank you for watching. Peace.